Canada, the land of the maple leaf, breathtaking landscapes and a reputation for politeness. But beneath this idyllic facade lies a complex reality, one where economic disparities cast a shadow over the Canadian dream. Is Canada truly a land of opportunity or is it grappling with an undercurrent of inequality that threatens its social fabric? While some rich Canadians enjoy prosperity and economic security, many others struggle to make ends meet, caught in a cycle of stagnant wages, soaring living costs and a housing market that seems increasingly out of reach. Canadians are dissatisfied with the direction their economy is heading. We will examine the widening wealth gap, the housing affordability crisis, the evolving labour market, the relentless rise in the cost of living and the government's need to balance between sustainable environmental policies and robust economic growth. Through data-driven analysis, this episode aims to spark a conversation and inspire action towards a more equitable and sustainable future for all Canadians. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to enjoy all our latest updates. Canada's wealth gap is widening. The richest 1% of Canadians hold over 25% of the nation's wealth, while the bottom 40% hold less than 2%. This disparity in wealth translates to unequal access to opportunities, healthcare, education, and a decent standard of living. In fact, the number of people in the low-income cutoff group is increasing. Net saving for the lowest-income households decreased by 9.8% in the third quarter of 2023 compared to the previous year. The consequences are far-reaching, impacting social mobility, eroding the middle class and fueling social unrest. One of the main drivers of this growing inequality is the stagnation of wages for the middle class and lower income earners, while the incomes of the top earners continue to soar. This trend is exacerbated by globalization, automation and tax policies that often favor the wealthy. The result is a shrinking middle class, struggling to keep up with the rising cost of living and facing diminishing prospects for upward mobility. The housing market plays a significant role in widening the wealth gap. As housing prices skyrocket, home ownership becomes an increasingly distant dream for many Canadians, particularly young people and newcomers. The average disposable income for the top 20% of Canadians is increasing at the fastest rate of any income group. This means those with financial assets benefit from rising interest rates, while those at the bottom suffer from the burden of greater debt. Addressing wealth inequality is not just a matter of fairness. It's crucial for the long-term health of the Canadian economy. For many Canadians, owning a home feels like an impossible dream. Soaring housing prices, fueled by low interest rates, foreign investment and limited supply, have created an affordability crisis that is pushing home ownership out of reach for many, particularly in major cities like Toronto and Vancouver. The increase in housing prices have outpaced income levels and mortgage rates have gone up dramatically, resulting in the lowest home affordability index in the last 40 years. The lack of affordable housing options forces individuals and families to make difficult choices. They may be forced to move further away from their jobs and support networks or allocate a disproportionate amount of their income towards rent, leaving them with little left over for other essential needs. In worst case, it may force people to even leave Canada, seeking better opportunities elsewhere. Businesses struggle to attract and retain talent as workers face long commutes or are priced out of the housing market altogether. The construction industry, while booming, is often focused on luxury developments, further exacerbating the affordability problem. Addressing the housing crisis requires a multi-pronged approach, including increasing the supply of affordable housing through government initiatives and curbing speculative investment. Without decisive action, the dream of home ownership will remain out of reach for a growing segment of the Canadian population. Increased monopoly corporates the Canadian labour market is undergoing a period of significant transformation. While globalisation, automation and technological advancements are rapidly changing the nature of work, Canada's most concentrated industries have become even less competitive. And the number of highly concentrated industries is growing. Profit margins and markups of already profitable firms is increasing, making small or new businesses hard to compete. This trend negatively impacts consumers and broader society by reducing industry dynamism, resulting in fewer choices and higher costs. We are seeing this currently play out in the grocery sector, 
where a lack of competition has resulted in higher food prices. This is also why airplane tickets and cell phone bills remain higher in Canada than in other countries. Connected to this is the next problem challenging Canada's economy. The rising cost of living in Canada. The cost of living in Canada is rising faster than wages for many Canadians, putting a strain on household budgets and making it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. Inflation in Canada reached a 39-year high of 8.1% in June 2022, especially hitting those in low-income groups the hardest. From groceries and transportation to healthcare and childcare, Canadians are facing rising prices across the board, eroding their purchasing power and leaving many struggling to afford basic necessities. Inflation, fueled by supply chain disruptions, increased energy costs and government spending are just making matters worse for Canadians. Housing costs, as discussed earlier, are a major contributor to the rising cost of living, particularly in major urban centres. High rents and mortgage payments consume a significant portion of household incomes, leaving less money available for other essential expenses. Balancing growth with sustainability. Canada faces a critical challenge balancing economic growth with environmental sustainability. As a resource-rich nation, Canada's economy has long been reliant on industries such as oil and gas extraction, mining and forestry. While these industries provide jobs and contribute to economic growth, they also come at a cost to the environment, contributing to climate change, deforestation and pollution. According to Statista, Canadians are among the biggest carbon polluters in the world emitting the second highest per capita greenhouse gas emissions among OECD countries in 2022. The country was also the 11th biggest CO2 emitter worldwide that year, having produced 1.5% of total global CO2 emissions. The transition to a more sustainable economy is essential for Canada's long-term prosperity and the well-being of its citizens. Investing in renewable energy sources such as solar, wind and hydropower is crucial for reducing Canada's reliance on fossil fuels and transitioning to a cleaner energy mix. These investments will create new jobs in the green economy, reduce greenhouse gas emissions and position Canada as a leader in the global fight against climate change. However, the transition to a more sustainable economy must be managed carefully to ensure that workers and communities that rely on traditional industries are not left behind. Government policies and their impact. The Canadian government plays a crucial role in shaping the economic landscape and addressing the challenges facing its citizens. Through fiscal policy, monetary policy and social programs, the government can influence economic growth, job creation, income distribution and the overall well-being of Canadians. One of the government's primary responsibilities is to create an environment that fosters economic growth and job creation. This includes investing in infrastructure, education and research and development, as well as creating a competitive tax system that attracts investment and encourages entrepreneurship. The government also plays a crucial role in addressing income inequality and providing a safety net for those in need. This includes programs such as unemployment insurance, social assistance and affordable housing initiatives, which provide a lifeline for Canadians facing economic hardship. However, government policies can sometimes exacerbate the very problems they are trying to solve. Solutions for Canada's economic challenges. Addressing Canada's economic challenges requires a multifaceted approach one that recognizes the interconnectedness of these issues and seeks to create a more equitable and sustainable future for all Canadians. This includes a combination of government policies, private sector initiatives and individual actions. One crucial step is to address the growing wealth gap by implementing policies that promote income equality. This includes raising the minimum wage, strengthening collective bargaining rights and exploring innovative tax policies that ensure the wealthy pay their fair share. Tackling the housing crisis requires increasing the supply of affordable housing options both through government initiatives and by encouraging private sector investment in affordable housing development. Investing in education and skills training is essential for preparing Canadians for the jobs of the future and ensuring that they have the tools to adapt to the changing demands of the labour market. 
shaping a more equitable Canada. The challenges facing the Canadian economy are complex and multifaceted, but they are not insurmountable. By acknowledging these challenges, engaging in meaningful dialogue and working together to implement solutions, we can create a more equitable and prosperous future for all Canadians. This requires a collective effort from all segments of society, government, business, labour and individual citizens. Canadian officials must prioritise policies that address income inequality, make housing more affordable, invest in education and skills training and transition to a more sustainable economy. All Canadians must have the opportunity to thrive, to reach their full potential and to live peacefully with dignity and respect. It is time to work together to build a Canada that is truly a land of opportunity for all. What are your thoughts about Canada's economy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video so far, hit the like button and stay connected with us for more new updates. Until next time, take care.